in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to beat zone coverage in Madden 20 from the spread playbook. This is our fourth set for success in our five sets for success mini scheme. Let's jump into it. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, what I do is I help people get better at Madden. If this is something that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do is pull out your cell phone and text me your first and last name to 812-216-3644. That's my personal cell phone number, and I would love to talk with you more about what you're doing and how your game is going and just kind of help as best as I possibly can with your game in Madden. If that's something that kind of weirds you out or you don't want to do that, no problem. What I want to encourage you to do is join our channel's Discord. The link is in the description of this video. And once we get 100 people in our Discord, then what we're going to do is we're going to release a free, full-fledged offensive and defensive scheme for free to our Discord members only. So either way, you want to jump in the Discord. It would mean a lot to me to have you guys over there and just be able to talk Madden with you. All right, let's jump into this tray open. So a zone beater. Zone beater is basically when you want to beat zone, it's all about flooding the defense. It's all about kind of putting defenders in conflict, stretching defenders, and that. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of create a couple of key concepts for beating zone. The first play we're going to add in here is Y corner. The second play we're going to have is the play FL dig. And the third play we're going to have is basically any other play that you want um, there's a couple there's several plays you could use um, the play that i'm gonna recommend i want to say four verticals because that's my favorite one but you can do honestly anything level switch is really good you could also do y stick but what we're going to do today is we are going to go over four verticals from the tray option uh, trip set there's a lot of things that that you need to know about that and then i like to put just a simple read option there as my run audible down and level switch is a good play to come out in okay so everybody's favorite zone that they're going to call in my opinion is going to be either cover four or cover two and you see we're going to run this basic levels concept now levels is fairly simple in fact it's probably one of the most simple concepts in all football but basically this little in route right here is going to beat every zone pretty much every zone in the game you don't really have to even think about it you've seen peyton manning throw that route over and over and over again with that same result you see that dig route it's going to take him up the seam up the seam up the seam and then we're going to come in behind it and that's why i like putting him on a streak because it just kind of clears out that angle because you don't want to run you don't want to have two people running into each other which is one of the issues with this but if we put him on a streak motion this guy in right here you see we're going to be able to hit that little in route baby in route against zone coverage and on the back side you've got a fade stop this is one of the best routes in the entire game as you can see here um, this fade route is going to get open if you smart route it it's going to get open deep in the back as you can see there gets wide open against the zone coverage that's a cloud flat that it got over now we're going to do a shift gears and talk about cover four as it pertains to the levels concept so you've got your streak and you'll see here that little in route that little in route that little in route that little in route will be successful we'll show you this one more time that in route's going to be successful but also you're going to be able to step up in the pocket and you're typically going to be able to hit that that 15 yard deep dig to jimmy graham for a pretty nice game now let's switch gears and talk about the play that's really good off of levels switch and that's the play y corner so y corner is essentially um smash you know some people call it smash but this guy right here jimmy graham is now going to run a corner a corner route now you can smart route that route it's going to go a little bit deeper you can also take your guy here and put him on a streak the snap read is the back when he cuts to the inside you're going to have that snap throw and that's very consistent um, pretty much against any defense that's a zone defense at the snap of the ball if they're not if they're not usering him he's going to be wide open for a little pass right in that pocket and if you're playing on conservative you'll be able to easily make that play now the next read, once you look to the back, you're going to look there. Once you look there, you're going to check on this corner route. Now, you see right there the cover two stops it. Okay, stops it dead in its tracks. It can get back on there. So it's not that, you know, not that open against cover two, which is fine. What we'll be doing 
with our offense is if they take that away, looking left, nope, nope, you got your underneath. As you can see there, your little baby in route, still very, very successful. Now, once we've read that to that, then you're going to see what happens at the snap of the ball is you're going to be able to throw this post route. You see it's a nice uh, Aaron Rodgers overthrows him just a little bit there, but it's a nice little pass lead to the inside, and you're going to be wide open with Devontae Adams pretty much against every cover two uh, style defense in the game because you're going to be able to kind of flatten that route off, which you see right there, and you want to have that be, in my opinion, that you want that to be your best guy. You want that to be your go up and get it kind of player, but it's going to be very consistent for you against a lot of the zone coverages that you're going to face because most of the time they're going to be trying to stop that baby in route. And then you're going to see here, you can slip that post route right in behind the yellow zones and it's going to go for a touchdown. Now, those are a couple of options out of Y corner. And what if they run cover four, right? Everyone's favorite defense, cover four. Well, you're going to see right here, you could throw that fade, and if I swerve catch it, I'm going to get that animation pretty much every time. That little back shoulder uh, grab where he kind of mosses him over the top. That's a really, really nice animation that the game allows us to have this year on that fade. The other thing that I'm going to be able to do is I'm still going to be able to hit Devontae Adams on that post route. You kind of see a theme here. They're going to have so much to guard on the left side of the field, they're not going to be able to take away a lot of what we're going to want to do on the right side of the field. Or I'm sorry, they're going to have so much guard on the right side, they're not going to have a lot of ability to take away everything we want to do on the left. Here you see there's that corner out getting open against his own coverage. Now, one little trick I want to tell you uh, with this specific route combination. One little trick that you can do to make this a little bit more effective is motion Geronimo Allison to the right. And you're going to see it's going to move him. Whoops, I'm sorry. Don't motion him to the right. Motion, um, motion Jimmy Graham. Let me see if I can get this. Oops, it's not letting me do it for some reason. If I motion him to the left here, and eh, it's gonna bring him into a, it's gonna bring him into a spread set. I'm trying to get Geronimo Allison on the line of scrimmage. Let's see if we can figure out how to do that. Because if we can get him on the line of scrimmage, that's okay. If you just motion him to the right, he's gonna come in here just a little bit more compressed, and that compression is gonna make a big difference. As you can see, we're able to get that ball out out to the numbers just a little bit better than what we were able to do prior. The next play we're going to look at is FL Dig. Now, FL Dig is my fa personal favorite zone beater um, from this specific package. And the reason is because of the route to Jimmy Graham. Now, that route is the reason we call the play. And you'll see here against most cover two defenses, this route, because it's a because it's a three by one set, you're going to be able to throw that against cover two, Tampa two style defenses, and it's going to be wide open. I mean, it's going to be literally... Um, it's going to be so wide open against cover two. It's not even funny. And see here, he's just going to run right by him. It's an inside pass lead, and you're going to click on. I always possession catch, but you can do you know whatever you want to do with that. Now, what they're going to do uh, to stop this is they're going to base a line, and they're going to take him and throw him into a deep third. That's kind of the theory of how they're going to go about stopping this. So they're going to throw that guy into a deep third. Now, it's a speed matchup, right? So if Jimmy Graham is faster, if that guy right there is your fastest guy, maybe a Tyreek Hill or whatever, it's going to be a speed matchup. So you might have a chance at beating even that defense. But even if they do that, what that's going to do is if I take, if I'm running FL Dig and I take Geronimo Allison and I put him on a streak and then I work some backside concepts, right? But I've got him on a streak and him on a streak. Now it's one-on-one, -on -one, as you can see over the top, one-on-one. -on -one. And what I would probably recommend that you do with this specific play is to take Geronimo Allison. And again, you could do anything with him that you want to do. That's kind of a flex route, so you can do all kinds of different things. But against cover four, you're going to see you should still be able to pass lead inside that FL dig route, as you can see right there. That's what makes this play so good, is they basically have to use her that specific route. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up a window to be able to throw the dig route, which is probably one of the best routes in Madden. But as you see here, you're going to pass late. And I threw it a little bit late, but right when he cuts, right when he cuts across the middle of the field, you're going to pass lead that. 
um, with an inside pass lead. Let me show you this real quick. Right there, and I, I left the mid read. But basically, if the mid read goes deep with the with the with the streak, then you're gonna throw the dig route. And this route, this specific route, is gets about 15 yards, and that's the that's the kind of dig routes we really like. See here, he's gonna get right there in behind the yellows, and it's a possession catch, wide open dot. Now. That is the play FL dig. That's from Tampa two perspective. Let me show you a cover. Th uh, let me show you a cover four with uh, maximum coverage setup. So on the left side, you see you've got this little back on an out route. This is good against man against zone. It's going to be a good little flat read. What I would do with Devonte Adams is I would take him and I would put him on a comeback against press man and against off man. I would put him on. Uh, cover four. So, like, if they're going to cover four, I would put Devontae Adams on a 10-yard out route. And what this is going to do is it's going to force them to play some cloud flats on the outside, which is going to then in turn open up the streak route to Jimmy Graham. Let me show you this cover three shell here. This is FL Dig. Again, he's off, so I'm going to put that 10-yard out route out there. And you see wide open every single time. Unless they cloud flat. Let me show you what happens when they cloud flat. Now, if they cloud flat, what's going to happen is your running back is on a very specific out route. The out route is going to do a good job at beating. Whoops, got some pressure off that right edge. The out route is going to do a really good job of beating the over top's coverage. As you see here, right there in the pocket, and he's off. Okay, so hard flat. You know, curl, cur curl flat read there. And then you've also, I mean, you could throw, let me show you the, the C route. The C route's not a bad route. Um, as you see there against cover two, we're able to get it over the top. So, I mean, it's a, it's a fine route this year. It just takes a long time to develop. That's kind of my issue with it. But, um, but anyway, that is, let me show you that one more time. Let me show you that fade or that C route. So I call the play FL dig, and you'll see that C route pass lead it to the left is going to beat the Tampa 2. That's a huge deal in my opinion. With as much Tampa 2 as I see on a daily basis, that's a big deal for Tampa 2. Now, if they let's say they go to cover 4 drop, check out the C route again. Now he's not going to quite beat it. As you see, they're, they're able to stop it. So the, the pocket's not, the, the window's not exactly there. The last defense, or the last play I want to talk about with you today is the four verticals play. As you see here, you've got a nice deep crossing route. You've got a deep post. Well, the only thing I do is I take Allison and I put him on a simple comeback route. That's the only hot route adjustment I make. And what you'll see is, what you'll see is, this kills, kills most coverages from a zone. Four verticals is probably the best zone beating concept ever created. Um, you see here against cover two, you can throw that route to Jimmy Graham. And then you'll see here um, against cover four, you're going to be able to not only hit that comeback route, but you're also going to be able to hit that right there, that seam up the seam for a nice little, nice little inverted cover three beater. And then let me show you cover four. So snap of the ball. See, you've got the two safeties deep. And you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one aggressive catch that you could test. But what I would do against a cover four style defense like this is I would just check down to your back. You're going to check down to your back more than you probably think. But right there in that pocket, and he's got room to go. So anyways, guys, that's the zone beater. I mean, three by one, very simple. Three by one sets beat zone. I mean, they just flood the zones, and that's just kind of the way that I do it. But I hope this video was helpful. And if you have kind of kept watching this video, what I want to encourage you to do, if you've thought about joining our channel or just kind of want to have a next step or whatever you want to do to get more involved, I want to encourage you to pull out your cell phone right now, send me a quick text message, say, what's up, Cody? My name is so-and-so. And my number is 812-216-3644. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to talk Madden with you. Really appreciate it if you do that. And again, 
the other thing I'd ask you to do is be sure to join the Discord because once we have a hundred people in our Discord server, I'm going to release a full offensive and defensive ebook to my Discord members. So you don't want to miss that. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.